As the moon climbs high over dead oak trees, spooks arrive for a midnight spree. A creepy creep with eerie eyes, watching phantoms vocalize, grim grinning ghosts come out to harmonize. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion. Our haunted halls are somewhat notorious among art enthusiasts and executioners alike. If you're ever lucky enough to visit our creepy crypt, be sure to spend some time in our portrait corridor, where you'll encounter some of our most notorious denizens, like the arsonist, Miss April December, and the opera glasses lady. Wait! You've never heard of the Opera Glasses Lady? Well then, sit back in your doom buggy as we enter the boundless realms of the supernatural. Oh, and heed this warning. The spirits will materialize only if you remain quietly seated at all times. Oh, it sounds like the show is just about to start. Shh, listen. During Richard Wagner's Ride of the Valkyrie, audiences witness Brunhild and her sisters prepare to carry off any fallen warriors slain in battle to the Norse realm of Valhalla. The maidens greet each other with a familiar chorus. <laughs> Die Valkyrie premiered in 1870 and is still celebrated as one of the most mesmerizing operas ever performed. It's gone on to inspire generations of prima donnas just like the mansion's first lady of opera, our haunting Harriet. First lady of the opera, our haunting Harriet, searched for a tune but never could carry it. If you've ever walked through our cemetery on the way to the Haunted Mansion, you might have come across those words. Some of our visitors have speculated Harriet may be the opera singer you encounter at the end of your journey. Her fashion sense is not unlike the Valkyrie of legend, which may be fitting, judging by her partner's apparel. It's possible he was slain in battle. The duet gives us a whole new meaning to a night at the opera. Others have given her a different name. Carmen Jones, a performer who was asked by Master George Gracie to perform at the mansion with her brother, Antonio. In the Haunted Mansion graphic novel, she goes by Baronessa Elda, a plus-size soprano with a pompous personality that was killing her career. Her reputation as an abusive battle axe eclipsed her incredible talent. So the Doom Diva was forced to perform at an unconventional venue, with an audience dying to hear her perform. Her voice brought out several residents of our ghostly retreat. Unfortunately for the Baroness, the shock of seeing this cadaverous congregation led her to flee the mansion as best she could, before meeting her demise after falling off a balcony. Since then, she's been booked for an extended engagement as part of our swinging wake. Our happy haunts simply adore music, especially Eric, the opera ghost. The Phantom of the Opera was born horribly deformed. His appearance was so terrifying he'd keep it concealed behind a mask. The phantom who haunted an opera house in Paris has captivated audiences in literature, film, and on stage. He even has a few ghoulish groupies as well. The organist performing in the Haunted Mansion's ballroom shares a similar look to the phantom of the opera. Oh, and remember that the mansion in Paris is actually called Phantom Manor and serves as the final resting place for Henry Ravenswood, 
there must be a library somewhere in the manor, since this eerie antagonist uses several tricks torn right out of the Phantom of the Opera's playbook. Now, did you know that the Phantom did appear on a guest list for the original Haunted Mansion well before we opened our gates for the first time? Over the years, some mortals have reported sightings of the Phantom, greeting guests outside the cinema on Main Street, USA. Certainly, these accounts could be real, or maybe just ghost stories. Either way, Eric hasn't been seen in quite some time. However, there is one more apparition who exceedingly enjoys the opera. The Opera Glasses Lady is one of our residents, immortalized in a portrait. She has long, golden hair and bright, piercing eyes. As guests move about the mansion, her eyes appear to follow them. Now, if that wasn't frightening enough, some have noticed that her glasses seem to contain an additional set of eerie eyes. She is also a member of the mansion's most notorious collection of creepy creeps known as the Sinister Eleven. Previously, we discussed other members, like the Gorgon and Medusa. Another thing you may have noticed about the Opera Glasses Lady is that she's not alone. There appears to be a third set of eyes that belong to a black cat. All happy haunts, except for that unnatural and dreadful one-eyed black cat. Watch out for him. He detests mortals, especially happy mortals. Oh, don't be alarmed, foolish mortals. While our phantom feline can be a bit feral, it looks like we've almost completed our tour. But beware. Some of our residents have noticed your sympathetic vibrations and a ghost may follow you home. Now before you leave, there's a brief survey we're dying to have you fill out. Have you ever visited one of our ghostly retreats? And were you familiar with any of the haunts we discussed today? Let us know in the comments section below. And why not take a moment to watch one of these other films highlighting the residents of The Haunted Mansion. <laughs>